Hello. Hello. Is it recording? Yeah. Oh, yes. Obviously. Yeah. Um, by the way, I apologize if I uh, escape and leave this podcast for a minute. I've got a delivery coming. Oh, for f- it's like Christmas all over again. Oh, in January. Lovely stuff. Uh, question. Oh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, welcome to Drum and Drummer. <laughs> welcome to Drum and Drummer. Uh, but first of all, uh, question. Mm. What, what, uh, who's the delivery uh, from? What service is being used for the delivery? Because it's very important. Let me check. Uh, it is DPD. Ah, yeah. I think. Fan of them? Yeah, big fan. Big fan. I, yeah. I'm happy when it's a DPD. Um, yeah. I'll tell you I for think why. I am as well. You're gone. I like that. I quite like their app. Yep. And if you buy something and it's, with the same email, so some broccoli, um, the same email address, and you go in the app, it's in there, and then you're like, and I think the uh, they give you a lovely one hour window, in yeah, the morning, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just very, very helpful, yeah. Um, and... I haven't actually been, I was told that I haven't been given the one hour window, but I can see it's in transit, and I think I can actually see, yeah, you can see where moving. they are on a map, yeah, so that's and it's good. like Stavros is. Uh, on delivery number seven, your delivery number 15. He's about 45 yeah. minutes away. I do like that. And it's great. I once had delivery like... You're next. I love that. I get a little bing on my watch. You're next. Ding dong. Hello, Stavros. Thanks, mate. Hello, Stavros. I once yeah. had one and it was like 74. His like 74th delivery of the day. And I was like, you must be knackered. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, That's yeah, a yeah. lot. I spoke to Here's someone who said, oh, whoa, story battle. Wow! <laughs> who wants to go first Please. well mine's quick so i haven't even told this story on here but it's a good one where I'm, i think i have where i got sent to the wrong address for a gig and had to drive <laughs> around the m25 right right we'll save that we'll save that for another day i really but, uh, want to talk about that or, or i really maybe, want to talk wait, about that because we'll we'll i know she's bit. listening <laughs> <laughs> um so but i had to go 90 hundreds around the m25 to get to this gig and after that i said if anyone's ever up my ass on the motorway i'm just gonna let them through because they're probably busy and yeah i saw i think it was yeah dpd van just so like just bombing it and i was like they've got places to be i'm gonna let them buy do you know what i mean yeah delivery drivers whew, what I mean, a stressful job what uh what a couple of years they've had yeah my god do you know what i mean it's been like yeah. whoa deliveries yeah. <laughs> do. Do you know what I mean? Hospitals, yeah. sure, but deliveries. Come on, yeah, exactly. we all need our nurses. Shit. We all need yeah, our they... plastic crap. Well, let's go. <laughs> certainly Well, I spoke to someone I know who, um, a musician, and he, during uh, COVID, he took up a job doing some deliveries for Amazon, mm. and uh, is it Craig? It is Craig. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't going to name him, but yeah, Craig. Well, we haven't said his second name. Mainly because uh, I we don't know it. We haven't said his name is Malice, Craig Malice. <laughs> a town called Malice, a Craig called Malice. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Anyway, um, and he was saying, I was wondering he, how long you know, that would go. Yeah, on. I thought about going <laughs> on for quite a while. Did the whole song. Um, but the trouble Five was, I later. need my chart to see how. Uh, how long the exception <laughs> is good is. call back to the previous call, episode we are on it this, this is, is just, the best this is the best one we've ever done this is great really. stuff uh and he said yeah. i think he did up to up to 200 deliveries a day yeah that's yeah. insane but i'll tell you what i've yeah. seen quite often round my mm. way down the streets where i doth lay my hat um <laughs> There's a lot of roads with parking on both sides and just a single lane yeah. can go down the middle that is classic yeah. portsmouth and uh, just they just fucking park their van in the middle of the road, stick the ads yeah. on, and just yeah. do the delivery. And you're like, well, I get it because it'd be a fucking nightmare if they they can't. There's literally nowhere they can park close to the house. I just no. think, yeah, fair play because I'd really want my stuff as well. So yeah, fine. Yeah, literally. Fine, isn't it? Okay, so I I I want to go into this um this little tale you dropped a little teaser of. The gig, yeah. Okay, just quickly. You went somewhere deli- else. 
I did. The delivery that's coming is a wetsuit, just in case people are wondering. Moving on, the gig. Oh, oh. and I'll say one more thing. Hermes, worst delivery, yeah. obviously. And yeah, yeah, not yeah. just for that, but also for their staff, because a friend of mine did Hermes deliveries first lockdown. And you don't get paid fuel in that mental. Ooh. So yeah, and wow. he had to do like 250 deliveries a day. Jesus. And it's whatever you can fit in your car. And Jesus he was H, going fuck. all around. Yeah. And a teacher made a said loss. That to me. <laughs> I remember you saying, Jesus yeah. H fuck. Um, uh, so this gig. Yeah. Uh, the reason I just tie up uh, the package of the deliveries. Uh, I see what that's good. Yeah. God, yeah, that's yeah, good. yeah. God, God, that's brilliant stuff, isn't it? I, um, uh, yeah. For me, DVD, the best. Home is the worst. I just, uh, third, the one with the hairy chest. I think that um, it's just fucking annoying when it's like be delivered anytime from 7 a.m. Yeah. to 8 p.m. Fuck yeah, off. Literally. Yeah. Fuck off. I've got shit to yeah. do, mate. Yeah. Um, DPD's good. Yeah. I, th- I think I think that's my favourite. Just I just want to yeah. see where Stavros is. On the I like knowing I want to know roughly are, yeah. when. Because you know the bell- doorbell's going to go when you're having a shit. Yeah, and then you're literally. like, "Oh, do I have a shit or not?" And then five minutes pass, and he goes, "Well, I could have had my shit by now." Yeah, even yeah. worse, the shower. No, not shitting in the shower, but you have no. a shower. You're like, "Oh, well, now I could have had my shower by now." But if I go now, maybe it'll turn up now. Yeah, and then you're like, "Oh, I could have had two showers," but you know. And then you get in the shower, and you're all soaked up. Ding dong! Oh, for fuck's sake! Well, I picture this, right? So we're both bald men. I picture shave Picture this. Her. Picture the country. Picture this. Isn't we're this both the best place naked. you've seen? Oh, that's a real song by one of my early bands. It was called Picture This. No, Picture It. Picture it. Picture the country. Isn't it the best place you've seen? Something like that. Anyway. I, I like it. I once was shaving my head, and I used to shaving foam cream. I must say... We are freshly domed today, aren't we? We are, yeah. I, I mean, you can literally see the light. I need I'll screenshot this because I literally yeah, I mean, lit this up. Is the picture. This should be our logo. I mean, it's proper. Yeah, I had a fresh trim today. Sorry, you were saying. God, so I, I, I used to shaving cream it yeah. and then shave it. Yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> and then the delivery driver came that great, happened once great so what, what do you do do you try and shave it quick no i had to i had to towel it all off towel all the shaving cream off and then towel myself yeah. run to the door and then you're like that's such a waste of cream I've had well to, i regularly now just um I the door my now, pants. By the way. I just, oh yeah fair. i just can't be bothered anymore just no. you know oh, mate, they right. don't care no nah, they don't care just they think got, what they they've seen the next... you know Oh God, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, please, this gig. Yeah, I mean, have we got time for it? Fuck it, let's do it. Let's do it. So this gig. So where do I begin? Uh, I think begin with. We initially got so with the agency we're both on. You get a little little email or a little note we did at the time saying gig in July in, uh, Reading. That's all it says, right? And then we get the uh, the gig details through, and it says Essex, some farm in Essex. And think for a second, we're going, oh, I thought it was Reading, but you know, sure. the sure. gig details do not lie. Um, it's oh. funnier telling this story when I know someone's listening who you know was a part in this. Yeah. Um, so if you're listening, it's you know we've talked about it, and it's fine. I don't I don't blame you. Um, so we had a gig. You don't blame booked. her, but the blame definitely lies <laughs> at her feet. Anyway, we won't so, name her, but hello. We won't name her. Anyway, hello. carry on. Um, so I think even on the day, our guitarist Max went, I thought it was Reading. Are you sure we're not going? I was like, no, no, no. Let's, it says Essex. We'll go to Essex. So I was living in Portsmouth at the time. The rest of the band were living in Brighton. We all drove up to Essex. We get to this farm that was in the details and we're driving into this farm and we're going, I wonder where, where's the way it doesn't look like a wedding, you know, sure. we're driving around and then we come back and then there's like a farmhouse at like the entrance and a woman comes out and I was like, Oh, here we go. Someone will tell us where to go. 
and <laughs> she she was like what are you doing here and i said oh we're here to we're here to play a wedding that's you not know, unusual it, treatment for turning up at no, a gig what no, are you doing no, here what you, with a band what are you doing here? so well yeah yeah i need to play yeah. yeah, I think it was called Heron's Farm. Let's just call it Heron's Farm from here on out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, so she was like, I don't think you are. And I said, no, 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 we are. Like, we're here to play. A wedding. <laughs> she was like, this is my farm. There's no weddings happening here. And I will get my husband. You've got to leave. This is trespassing. So we were like, well, what are we, what do we do? You know, and we literally next door, there was another farm venue thing. And we saw there was a wedding there. We were like, oh, maybe that's sure. where it is, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, tur- we turned up to there and we were like, this isn't the right place either. So then I had the bride's sister's phone number because obviously you're given like a contact on the day. And I phoned her up and I said, hi, we're at Heron's farm. Um, can someone come out and meet us? You know, we're a bit, a bit lost. Um, we're in Essex, by the way, above Essex. We've gone through the tunnel over the tunnel whatever we're quite far I, I, yeah it was yeah, yeah, it was a yeah, long yeah. way from reading that's all i need to say and then she was saying yeah heron's farm i was like yeah we're here like you know can you come meet us by the way it's quarter to six and we had to be there at six so we we're like good we're early you know? yeah. and then she goes yeah heron's farm in reading and we were like what the fuck <laughs> so i phoned our manager and he was like jesus like what he was like just you know drive just get there sort of thing i think he was afterwards like i'm impressed that you actually did it because other bands would have just gone fuck this you know we've driven all this way who you know we're not gonna bust our balls but i i remember looking on google maps at how far it was from where we were to reading and i remember it so well because it said exactly 100 miles and i remember being shocked that it was 100 miles but also yeah and so and it was basically all across the top of the m25 and we all just got in our cars yeah we we managed to do i managed to do the whole yeah i did the whole of the m25 that day because i went up from portsmouth around to essex and then across the top but we just went as fast as we could and i had a black box in my car at the time uh for those that don't know it basically measures how fast and aggressive your driving is and if you aren't aggressive then your insurance goes down the next year by the way it's a scam it's not really a thing because i drove brilliantly apart from this day so this day i was going just under 100 miles an hour the whole m25 plus we yeah. all do, well this is the, i remember thinking i won't go above 100 but there's no way i'm driving yeah, i'll be 90. sensible and keep it at 95 yeah 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 literally so we all we all made it to the gig at about eight or something and we were due to go on at eight so we've driven for five hours and then we get there and they were like right set up we want to do the first we've got old people here that want to see them dance yeah Yeah. so and we were quite young and we were like oh this is our fault let's you know let's do it quickly so we set up and then as soon as we set up we're like right they were like right first dance then we're like okay jesus and then we did the whole first set and then afterwards, we finally got to stop to have a drink after being in a car for six hours and it was hot and everything. But um, yeah, we got there. But it was such it was that thing of it was such a little detail. And it was literally like there was two farms of the same name in the country. Yeah. And we got sent to the wrong one. And uh, yeah, bless her <laughs> if, if she's listening. <laughs> oh, I remember getting a phone call from you that day and I was out gigging. Yeah. And yeah. uh, I think you were trying to contact your manager who yeah. you thought was with me, but he, yes. he was on another gig, yeah, my other band. And I was just, I was having a lovely gig, <laughs> picking a football round in a field, lovely weather. Yeah. I went to the right venue yeah. and um, just want to kick about, phone rings. Hello, mate. Is Neil with you? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, turned up to the wrong gig. We went to be yeah. ready. We're in Essex. Oh. <laughs> Okay, see you later. Yeah. yeah, I'm not your manager. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, he's not with me. Bye. No. But um, Jesus. yeah, yeah, lovely story. But, I mean, we got, uh, uh, yeah, just just great. And I'm actually quite surprised it doesn't happen more often. Mm. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, Is I've it, heard. I think I heard a story of bands turning up to a venue, setting up, 
And then another band turned up. <laughs> and we're like, huh? And yeah. the first band weren't meant to be there. They were meant Amazing. to be at a venue just down the road. Right. And I had to pack oh, everything beautiful. up and oh. shift it down the road. Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, there's, you know, horror stories in it. I think yeah. a few bands this summer just didn't turn up because they just didn't get sent the gig details. Yeah. Uh, it was all a sham in the summer and it? it was mental, but uh, good yeah. management. We, we, we managed to fulfill our contracts, <laughs> shall we say, <laughs> but um, do you know what? That's been some great stories. Lovely stuff. Is... Let's take a little break. And then we're going to come Let's back and talking about in ear monitoring, monitoring the fits in your ears. We'll see you soon. Welcome back. Welcome back. George, I need update. To... Has your yeah, delivery arrived? No, it hasn't. I'm no. wetsuitless still. How am I going to get in that sea without a wetsuit? Yeah. Tricky. <sighs> Tricky. Just freeze, pretty much. Um, no, it hasn't got here yet. But oh. I'll keep you updated. Yeah, sure. Sure. Right. Right. Left. Ahead, forwards, there. forwards. Uh, right, listen, ear boy. Ah, listen, ear. Listen, in ear, in ear monitoring. Um, Something that's relatively. You're just trying to still think of more segues. The aren't final you? front in ear monitor. Final front in ear. Happy new in ear. That's good. Um, uh, in ear monitoring. Something that's actually fairly new to me a couple of yeah. years i don't know two or three years um yeah. i was um you know pretty skeptical at first i'll be honest i thought eh, i don't think i i don't know i don't know i don't know if i'll oh, I don't know. yeah, yeah. I, I hate doing anything without any monitoring now yeah i love it um Please. i'll run you through the this out george because I know mm, you're on. interested. So my bands, we switched our PAs. We now use the Behringer XS, which are just mm. changed the game for self, uh, you know, self bands that provide their own PA. And the beauty is they've got multiple monitor outputs. Mm. So every band member can have their own monitoring um, yep. into a speaker or an ears, and then you can control your own monitor levels on your iPad. Oh, it's lovely. No more of that shitty sound check. Can I have more of this? Can I have more of that? Just do it yourself. Yep. Uh, that runs into a little Behringer P2 power pack. P2 mm. power pack. Uh, clips onto the belt. Lovely stuff, like an old mobile phone. Um, and a leather case. Now just clips on. And then headphones. Now, the main reason I didn't like them when I first used it because I was using headphones, little buds that go like yeah. right in your ear. Yeah. And like for me, I was like, oh, it blocks out too much of the room. Yep. I just use um, an old pair of wired Apple headphones. Yeah. Um, and I still get, I get the clarity from the monitoring, but I can still feel and hear the room. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, I really like it because now I can get lots of lovely kick drum into my ears um yeah. and i think it makes me play better definitely well for, for a start it will make it makes you play like not have to hit as hard because that's something you know if you play especially if you play little venues where you can't hear any kick say if the monitor's not coming through and you really smash the kick because you're like i can't hear this over the guitars sure. whereas actually it is coming out of the speakers um, but as soon as you hear it, you can kind of go, oh, I can relax a bit, um, which is something, you know, if you've ever done a sound check somewhere, I, I did it with a gig over the summer. It was a very technical gig with like, you know, I was using the SPDSX and I was in a monitors and running back and tracks and all sorts. And we did a sound check and it sounded great in sound check, like as in everything was in my ears that needed to be. And then when it got to the gig, it just something went wrong and it just none of it was there really and it felt so flat and it just i was really i felt like i was really having to i don't know hit the drums harder to almost compensate so i was like god it was you know sometimes if the sound's so good it doesn't really feel like you have to hit it 
that hard it's hard to explain but it's yeah, like yeah. you kind of go like oh this, these drums are playing themselves but then when you can't hear it you're like oh god this feels just really flat and tough deflated. like running through mud yeah literally yeah. like that um it always, no, has, but, always happens though you sound check and you're like yeah 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 great and then you do the gig yeah. and you're like well that was all, like what, what yeah. what's changed yeah it now sounds awful um, yeah yeah it could be anything it could just be there's more people in the room and it's like, I don't know. It's usually less or people in the room when they play. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but I'll say something. So the first time I used in on it, like properly, was when I did the uh, gig abroad in Mallorca. And uh, it was, we used it every night and I'd never used it before. But the thing was, going back to what you were saying, I had what I have now, the SC215s. Sure. 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 Um, and yeah, I remember being shocked at how much they blocked out. Like it was like I'd take one out to so I could actually hear my kit without you know just being isolated. And here's a funny story. So here's a funny to, story to compensate huh? it. Huh? We, uh, <laughs> huh? <laughs> we um we put we, we were like right. I can't hear anything apart from just whatever's going into my in ears, and I don't want to take one out. So we set up a mic to just get a general kind of sure. all the gigs are outdoors, but like a general sort of sound of, you know, guests or whatever the atmosphere. But it was a, a you know, a bad idea because our singer, a bit of a joker, would use that microphone to just go up to it and just say, because it was like a double act. So sometimes he wasn't singing. So imagine this, I've got a microphone that's so sensitive to just pick up the crowd and he's a big fan of the office and he went up to the microphone while i was playing and i didn't see him do it and shouted i think there's been a rape up there into the mic so imagine that imagine that all i've got in my ears is just you know kick snare bass vocals whatever and declarations and then, uh, of that, rape and then yeah i hear that and i was just like fuck's sake and then that became a thing he could say stuff because that mic would only go to my yeah. ears yeah and then that was just that it was ruined after that. Well, I mean, it was hilarious. I've yeah. thought about that. Is there a way where we can, in the band, set up a communication system between us that doesn't come out? Yeah. So we can just chat to each other while playing. And this is at people's weddings. But can we <laughs> yeah. chat to each other, communicate with people out the front, you know, not, not, yeah. not being able to hear? Because uh, sometimes, actually, on a on a some level, it'd be good to hear to talk to people. Yeah, on a, on a direction level of fucking chorus again, you prick. Um, yeah, or just general banter, you know. And you know, we've it's, it's not uncommon during a major football tournament to perhaps have the game on 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 oh, your iPad on your definitely not next stand next year. You know, um, I remember seeing. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember if it was England or I think it was well, I think it was this summer actually. England, it was. Ukraine and and uh because I was to, on that gig. Having to suppress absolute yeah. delight while playing yeah. someone's delayed 50th birthday party. Yeah. Because England have smashed in the opener. In yeah. what eventually was I think a four nil whopping. I was on that gig with you. you I was were. playing bass and it was yeah, there was a goal within the first four minutes or yeah. something. Yeah, I did on my oh, phone yeah. next to me, done on my kick kick pedal case. Um, yeah, is those so those headphones? In fact, the headphones you're wearing now—they're what you use for gigs, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you need to get a second pair, I, one for podcasts, one for gigs. I do. Oh well, I mean? yeah, he's like yeah, so, like your other shit, <laughs> like my electronic drum kit. Yeah, no, they're just. I call him two by. He buys everything twice. <laughs> I um, he's got two of everything. I thought about getting molded in ears, but they've ne I've never needed them enough, you know? And I think that's a complete other level of like, first of all, it's for when you play in much bigger places. Um, but also it's that really, you're so isolated then, you know, it's like nothing can get in. Um, but yeah, no, I, yeah, these, these seem to do the job and they're fine and they, you know, Sometimes, though, here's a story for you. Uh, I did a gig with your band, Stepping on Drums, in the summer, and we were all on in ears, 
and it was sounding great you know and it was just a few kids dancing it was the first set and i was like it's first set sometimes people aren't dancing. you know it's fine and then someone comes up to us and goes hey by the way we can't hear anything like there's no vocals <laughs> Yeah, or anything. We can just hear drums. And I know where this that, is going. That, yeah, there'd been like a power cut for a second. It turned off all our gear, but the in ears were still working, so I could still hear everyone. Well, not all our gear. It turned off the speakers. Um, so yeah, so we were playing, and we could hear it, and we we're going, "Oh, it sounds good," but none of the audience could hear it. So yeah. that kind of explained why everyone left. So well, that is a little drums. That's a bit yeah. of a worry sometimes, isn't it? Because it sounds great in your ears. You don't know what the fuck's going on out front. You kind yeah. of have a bit of blind faith that, yeah, we checked the sound earlier and I'm sure yeah. it still sounds good. Yeah. But uh, maybe not. Yeah. But you're just like, sounds great in my ears. I'm just going to crack on. And it could be absolutely yeah. fucking abysmal out front. And yeah, no one can hear anything. We're just like, yeah. We're great. <laughs> yeah. We're great. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's quite a jump from uh, my old band didn't even have monitors, didn't even have on the floor monitors because they broke once and we went, we played so much together. We all know the songs. It's fine. So then whenever a debt would come in and they'd be like, do you use in ear monitor? We'd be like, what's that? What? <laughs> and they'd be like, well, surely you got floor monitor. No, just, Ooh. you should know the songs, boy. Just. Yeah. So you know, once it started, is it though? yeah, just yes. <laughs> That's what most most of it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. But um, yeah, no, it, it is a game changer, and uh, especially with bass, I've found with drums, it's sort of um, you know, it's nice to have you kicking everything, but like, I don't know, with bass, I think it can get lost to me yeah, anyway, yeah. easier, and just having it in my ear, it's sort yeah. of like I can really hear what I'm doing a bit better. You can hear all uh, those wrong notes exactly very I clearly. Hear, <laughs> yeah, hear all the fret scratching <laughs> and uh, yeah. miss miss plucks, <laughs> miss, miss picks, slides. Yeah, miss plucks was actually sometimes my music the teacher. most important notes are the ones you don't play. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it's true. Someone came up with that because they fucked up their gig or something, didn't they? <laughs> they were like a bit shit, and they were. Like, well, actually, you didn't. You didn't play the middle eight. Well, sometimes it's the <laughs> it's the notes we don't play that most. No, you just you don't know the song. Yeah. You don't Stop know it. That excuse. Yeah. yeah. Just. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's what we don't say that counts. Yeah. The silence is important. The sound yeah. of silence. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's in is. Yeah, I love having a uh, big the gig game changer for me is i could have kick drum in my ears that's yeah i, I definitely. just love having the old kick drum and i do the the odd bit of backing vocal and that's a lot yeah. better having yeah. that um in the in the old in the old cans i did i used to yeah. play in a band and we had backing tracks this was original music and um i we had backing tracks and a click track and i just had like them all on my ipad as like stereo wav files with the click left channel and the back and track right channel would send the click to me and the back and track to the PA. But so I'd, I'd have a click track, but this was before in it, you know, I was in this, yeah. this was, you know, good eight, eight years ago, 10 years ago. And I, so the only headphones I had were like big over ear cans. Yeah. And they were like, they were skull candy and they were yeah. like green <laughs> and yellow and they yeah. were like not even nice ones. And they were so uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> they were so tight around the ears. They just didn't. They, oh, and I had to wear them for like 30, 40 minutes, these gigs. And I just, yeah. A, looked like a twat. Yeah. And B, I just really hurt my head. <laughs> yeah. 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 But now I just, I just use the um, little Apple earbuds and I just, you know, up, up the back and I loop it around the ear. Yep. Job done. Cheers. I like I like it also because it feels more professional. It just looks cool with the power pack as well. It just feels like I don't know, like you're really starting the gig. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, right, let's put the power pack on and get the you know, you're not yeah, yeah. Now I'm now I'm ready. ready. Yeah. Exactly. No, but uh yeah, they have been a game changer. I think it's one of those things that's like 
going back to stools, drum stools, that is, not yeah, cool matter. Um, there's the, I think it's the, I don't want to get it wrong, the Porter and Davies drum stool, which is like 800 quid, but it has, but it has, it's like, you can get the kick drum sound into the, or at least the feel of it yeah. into the stool. And I've spoken to, you know, people that use them and they're like, once you use it, you can't, you can't go back to a normal stool. Yeah. And it's the same with, you know, in a, you know, if you do a gig and it cuts out, and you just be like, oh god, it's deflated, you know. And uh, yeah, I think yeah. That's so that drum thing. still yeah. sends you a, a pulse, doesn't it? Like it. Yeah, I think that's it. it, it yeah, it's um, it's a really big, comfortable butt plug that just yeah. sort of every time you hit the kick, oh, gives you a little. I've never tried one, but it'd be interesting no, to see actually. I and I, I love on the surface, I think that's shit, but I imagine actually the 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 feel. It's interesting to think that. Just feeling that is yeah. makes up for maybe like not hearing it. Mm. it you, and your brain, I don't know, does your brain like fill in the gaps? Because yeah. you, you're the one playing the kick and you can feel it. Does that then like make up for the fact you can't necessarily hear it as much? Yeah. Does it just like yeah. bridge that gap? It'd be very interesting to try. And I'm sure, what's the company called? I think it's Porter and Davies. Porter and Davies. I'm sure you're that. listening. Yeah. And uh, please just, <laughs> just send us a couple of eight hundred quid um, bum vibrating exactly. drum stools. We'll check them out. Yeah. And, Sorry, we uh, called them butt plugs. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, but yeah. prove us wrong. Prove, prove us, us wrong. wrong. Yeah. Send us a couple of them. And, <laughs> that, that's uh, how we're going to get endorsements. Slag people off and then go prove us wrong. Yeah. Yeah. The D the DW, DW hardware is shit. Prove yeah, me wrong. Prove me wrong. Yeah, yeah. The pole master's custom gold looks wank. Prove me wrong. Yeah, let me play exactly. one. See how it sits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think we're going to do great with endorsements. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, let's leave it there, boy. Um, yes, I'm sure your wetsuit will turn up soon. I hope so because I'm just. I mean, I've got to go to work soon. This is ah. taking forever. But um, wow. yeah, uh, that's been drum and drummer. Uh, Instagram go. <laughs> Drum and drummer. Ah, oh, fuck, fuck. Fucking idiot. At every fucking day. idiot. <laughs> At drum and drummer podcast. Good. Uh, you can send us, always send us an email. Uh, well, yeah, there was definitely I always doubt forget your... this pod. <laughs> no, I'm the, so the Gmail, email us at drum and drummer pod at gmail.com. That's the pod one. Yeah. It's annoying we couldn't get him to match. Uh, <laughs> no one cares anyway so it doesn't really matter uh yeah. george that people can check out your online drum teacher learn drum you can learn drums online with in your george, own home which with this guy george right know. here this is george talk george well 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 <laughs> seeing as we might be going into a i've got to match your energy another lockdown where else are you going to learn drums you can't drum go coach to online dot com a- a hospital. Can't go to a studio. You can't no. go to a, you can't learn drums at a hospital or a fire engine or uh a warehouse that sells no. ornate glass cat sculptures. You can't yeah, do it. Definitely you physically can't go. No. But what you can arguably is you can go, you couldn't really before, but yeah. Well <laughs> Bill in a China shop, drummer in a cat sculpture glass warehouse. Uh but you can go to that's drum coach the, online. I'm trying to sell your fucking website. Shut up. You can go to drumcoachonline.com and on there you can see a picture of George and some other stuff and you can yeah. book a lesson, book and pay for your lesson. You can have a one-on-one, one-to-one online coaching with George Pickering, drumcoachonline.com. Now, George, sell my business. That was very good. Oldblacksmiths.com, is that it? Yes. Right. You can find also a picture of Ben. Weird way you started my promotion. but I'm not okay, sure there is that. a picture of me on it, actually. Well, there should be. That's should what the be. people are crying out for. If you want to record a song, have it mixed and mastered at a professional studio, all slate stuff, if that means anything, mm. to, to people, not to me. Sure. Go to the Old Blacksmith Studio, State of the Art Studio in Portsmouth, Hillsy, Portsmouth, and uh, make all your recording dreams come true. Sure. How's that? Sure. that yeah. Right? yeah, great. Uh, also I mean, go benwinsey.com uh, yeah. I've got some drumming shit on there um, 
I might get rid of my website on the yeah well, yeah no, yeah whatever. It's, I mean, it literally it runs yeah. out like next week. Oh, but anyway, well, go visit the Dent Act. The Dent Act. Go and listen oh, yeah, to some yeah, of our yeah. tunes on Spotify. Search for the Dent Act. Uh, breaking news: I have started mixing the first track of our EP. Boom! That's, mic drop. I'm gonna good. leave it there. And maybe by the next episode, I might have something finished. Who mic knows? drop or Mike Rocket? Oh, good. Yes. Our singer is called Mike Rocket. That's his real name. It's That's such a good name. name. Yeah. Such a good name. It's like Eddie Thrower. If he was a darts yeah. player, it'd be Eddie the Flame Thrower. Yeah. You just can't write this stuff. Me, yeah, you can't. Ben Winty. Yeah. Cheers. Anyway, hope your wetsuit arrives, George. And you can swim in the sea. And apologies to... Aquaman. Won't say her name, but uh, I don't blame you for the gig. Thankfully, she is no longer responsible for sending bands to venues. She has no. changed careers. Not because of that, but I think it's still deep-rooted in her brain. Be careful yeah, what postcode she said. Like a deep root canal. <laughs> be careful. Does. It's two Herons Farms. See you next yeah. time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.